Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here and welcome to Monster Hunter. I appreciate that a large portion of you on this channel and watching this video already know exactly what this game is. However, with Monster Hunter World set to welcome tons of new hunters into the fray, I want to take the time to answer the question, what is Monster Hunter? Perhaps you are someone that has heard of the series but has never taken the time to dive in. Maybe you've got friends that are starting to pay attention following the announcement of World, or maybe you're someone that has for a long time been trying to convince your friends to play the series. Whatever your reason, if you or anyone you know wants a concise summary of exactly what this series has to offer, and more importantly, why it's so good, then this video is for you. So let's begin at the very top. As the name suggests, Monster Hunter is a game where you hunt monsters. Monsters come in all shapes and sizes. You fight small monsters, similar in size to say a raptor, larger monsters that can range from fire-breathing wyverns that fly through the sky, scaly looking creatures that stalk you through the trees, aggressive bipedal brutes that'll have you diving for cover, and even some frankly bizarre looking monsters that, well, you really need to see to believe. And just when you think you've got a good grasp for the types of threats that await you, you'll then encounter something like this, a monster so huge you can't even begin to fathom how you're supposed to take it down. But you will, in time. In short, there are lots of monsters to hunt, and plenty of variety to keep things fresh and fun and keep you coming back for more. But the question that follows is why? Why do we hunt? I mean, hunting monsters is cool and all, sort of like fighting bosses in something like Dark Souls, but there has to be a reason, right? Well, of course. See, the other core component of Monster Hunter, the other key pillar, so to speak, is loot. More specifically, badass armor and weapons. See, every monster you fight has its own set of armor and selection of weapons. So one of the best, most exciting things about finally taking down a new monster you've never seen before is that moment where you return to town, speak to the smithy, and discover what that armor set looks like or how badass those weapons are. Of course, you won't better make the gear and weapons right away. I mean, this is a loot-based game after all. A game where you hunt monsters to farm parts. If you're lucky, after your first hunt, you might be able to make one piece of gear. But this is where the replayability comes in. You hunt that monster, decide that the armor set is so incredibly cool that nothing else matters until you have the complete set. So you go back out and you hunt it again and again and again until you have all the parts you need to craft and wear your shiny new armor set or wield your fancy new weapon. Pretty cool, right? But then, with your new armor and weapons, you head out and fight yet more monsters, only to return and find yet more gear that you want to craft, and so the cycle goes on. We hunt, we carve, we craft, and we hunt again. Monster Hunter is a game that offers hundreds of different armor and weapon combinations, so whether you're a collector looking to get it all, or just someone looking to play more casually and pick and choose the items you want, there will always be something for you to chase, something for you to earn, and that sense of satisfaction when you finally achieve that goal. However, that's just the A to B, hunting to crafting, but what about the actual gameplay, the stuff that takes place in the middle, the actions that ultimately allow you to hunt the monsters and get that sweet gear? Well, to begin with, it's worth noting that monsters in-game don't have health bars. They're not like your typical bosses from other games where you gradually whittle them down whilst monitoring their overall health. In Monster Hunter, you have to observe your target. When monsters become weaker, they slow down, begin to drool, and eventually start limping. These are your signs that it's near defeat. All the UI you see on screen, that pertains to your hunter. Health, stamina, weapon sharpness, etc. And speaking of weapons, there are 14 different weapon types for you to choose from. Sword and shield, dual blades, longsword, greatsword, hammer, hunting horn, lance, gun lance, switch axe, charge blade, insect glaive, bow, light bow gun, and heavy bow gun. And for each monster you hunt, there are typically variations of most, if not all, of these weapons. So within your favorite weapon type, there will be tons of options for you to choose from, tons of weapons to craft. And what's more, you're not bound by your weapon choice. See, Monster Hunter isn't a class-based game. When you create your character, and yes, there is character creation by the way, you won't select your class or your weapon only to find yourself bound by that choice for all eternity. On the contrary, you begin the game, grab the weapon that interests you the most, and if later on you realize you made the wrong choice or maybe you feel like a change of pace, then you simply equip something else and carry on hunting. Weapons are swapped out of the base camp, so while you won't simply swap them from a menu like you might in some other RPG, it's still something you can do with relative ease. Each weapon is unique and plays drastically different to the last. Some weapons are light and nimble, others are slower and more powerful, some are technical and require a little more understanding, and others allow you to engage at range. There is no best weapon type in Monster Hunter, all weapons are good, 
all weapons are viable, and you can ultimately use what you want to take down your target. Speaking of which, when hunting monsters and embarking on your quest, you can do these both solo or with up to three other friends to form a team of four. Content typically scales based on team size, but regardless, in Monster Hunter World, absolutely every quest can be done in both ways. So for the solo players out there, sure it might be a little more challenging if you don't have friends to back you up, but everything, and I mean everything in game, can be soloed. Even this guy. That is how Monster Hunter has always been. In addition to that, you can also get little cat companions called Palicos. These are AI controlled cats that come on quests with you, they have armor, they have weapons, and they can offer some assistance. They can attack the monster, lay down traps, heal you, or just act as a distraction to take the heat off you in battle. You can customize these little guys too, and you can have one accompany you anytime you go out solo, or with one other player, any more, and they'll just stay at home. However, on top of your base weapon choice, you also have a whole amount of items at your disposal. These items range from things like health potions and stamina stakes to keep you topped up in battle, items to heal your team or provide you with temporary damage boosts. There are traps you can lay to lock the monsters in place temporarily, allowing you to dish out some extra damage, bombs for some added explosive goodness, and new to Monster Hunter World, items called mantles that you can throw on your character, like a cape, to provide you with some temporary bonuses, like the ability to glide through the air, get attacked without flinching, make the monsters chase you, or even hide from its sight. And that's just a small sample of what's available. Items can be crafted or gathered, some of these items go back into your overall armor crafting process, and others for quests or resources back at base. In short, there is a lot of stuff to cover in this game, a lot of stuff to learn, and if I went over absolutely everything, then Monster Hunter World would be out before I've even finished. But that, in its most basic form, is Monster Hunter, one of the most rewarding gaming experiences I have ever had. There is honestly no better feeling than going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a brand new monster, something you've never fought before, and to begin with, it wipes the floor with you, but gradually, you learn its move patterns, learn its tells, and eventually, you come out on top, you defeat it, you carve it, you defeat it again, and not long after, you're wearing its scales as armor and wielding its horns as a blade. Whether you're playing solo or with friends, Monster Hunter is an incredibly fun and rewarding game with tons of replay value. Over the years, I have sunk thousands of hours into previous entries in the series, and to this day, I'm still not bored. If you've never played before, the Monster Hunter World launching on January 26th next year is for sure going to be your best place to jump in. With so many quality of life updates to make your experience much smoother, it also boasts a full cinematic story campaign, so if you've never played Monster Hunter before, this will be a great place to start. But for the time being, that's it. I tried to keep this as short and concise as possible, but if you guys have any questions, by all means drop them in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, then a like would be super appreciated. If you want to know more about Monster Hunter World, then I've linked my complete playlist down below, which has more details and a look at all 14 weapons. And of course, for those existing Monster Hunter fans, I'm sure you can all share some hunting experiences in the comments down below. I know you've all got cool stories to tell. Thank you very much for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.